welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video uh, if you're new don't forget to subscribe hit that like button uh, leave a comment down below share it with somebody i just got released from drill if you can't tell by the uniform and there is a local pond here in the town that i drill at pretty close to the armory actually just a few minutes um, around the around the block um, so I brought a couple of rods with me. I'm going to go down here, do a little bit of walking and casting and see if I can't catch a couple of fish here before it gets dark. I've got about an hour of daylight left um, and it's a really cloudy day. So, and it's a pretty windy day too, but who knows? Make a few casts. Um, I'm here, there's a pond here. I've got some rods, I've got some lures. So we're going to give it a shot. We'll see you when I get out there. motorcycles go past that were very loud probably still hear them pretty well all right ladies and gentlemen it is like bonkers windy um, this is actually the first time that I've used this bait cast finesse system. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to make a couple casts. Got the spinner bait on. I'm not going to lie, it's really windy and this water is really shallow I mean we'll see how it goes I think I'm gonna start here in this corner because um, the wind is pushing everything back up this way so food for the bait fish bait fish hopefully the fish uh, will be pushed up in this corner I'll probably just try to walk up along this bank here where that bench is um, but everything is getting pushed back in this corner. I don't know if you can hear the wind there in the mic. I'm sure you can. I mean, it's just, it is gusting. So even casting in these conditions, I think is gonna be really tough. I'm gonna have to like time it. <laughs> like in between giant gusts of wind. bit better cast <laughs> just needed to turn up the tension in the brakes a little bit sounded not too bad don't think that was a bite I think I'm dragging the bottom it, it looks really shallow right here so I might just make a few casts and then on up the bank. I think that was just the bottom. Man. Walk up this way a little bit. Maybe it gets a little deeper up here. I'm not really sure. Looks like it does get maybe a little bit deeper. Oh boy. Oh, there's still. It doesn't even look like it's a foot deep. So I think I'm gonna switch it up, grab my stuff, walk down to the... This little, like, looks like a man-made point that's cut out here with this bench up here just make a few casts it does look a little deeper up here though so maybe get a couple casts out there who knows maybe we'll have better luck up here I just I wanted to start in that corner because this it just looks like everything is gonna be getting pushed up there because this wind I mean you can tell just looking at the water here the 
the wind is just pushing everything back in that corner. But it doesn't mean that it's the fish are super active though. So it just means that it's, everything's getting blown in the corner, including my lure and hopefully not my hat, but who knows. If you listen to our first episode of the Unlucky Anglers podcast, you heard me talk with my brother Josh about how we feel about spinner baits. I feel like the action of a spinner bait is good enough that you don't always have to have a trailer. So I don't always use a trailer. Now that being said, I'm saying that and I'm actually thinking like, maybe I should put a trailer on. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little trailer on it. Something pretty simple. Just a little grub. Something to give a little action. Maybe hide that hook a little bit. To be fair, this pond is kind of taking a chance at. I fished it once before um, and did catch fish out of here. So I know there are fish. That's not the, the issue is not are there fish because um, I've, I've caught a fish out of here. But it was a long time ago. The conditions were very different. I'm betting that this pond does get pretty deep out toward the middle. Cause even right here, I can see that, you know, the, the bank kind of drops off more, even just right here, it drops to, you know, I don't know, maybe three to four feet deep right here off of this little point. So there probably are some contours and some features. Maybe put a kayak or a John boat out there toward the middle and have some luck. But I'm here for drill and I don't have either of those things, so, or either of those things with me. All I have is a couple of rods. That cast went really high in the air and the wind basically just stopped it in its tracks. kind of wondering what might be lurking over there. I'm, trying to, I'm also trying to avoid casting into the wind because I'm using a finesse bait cast system, which if you don't know what that is or have never used one, it's a bait casting reel so I'll show you to you real quick. It's a Cast King Zephyr bait casting reel. Um, but it's got a wide spool on it and it's for light line, light lures. So that I can fish with this quarter ounce spinner bait without having to, you know, really tweak the settings on my bait cast setup. I just kind of keep this set for lighter lures. And it's great when I come out to a pond like this or, you know, a creek or the river that's smaller water. I don't have to, you know, have tons more setups. I can just grab this one um, or tweak a lot of my setups or, you know, whatever. I can just grab this rod, grab this combo, throw around some lighter lures, but still have the feel of a bait caster. got it on a shorter rod as well since I'm using lighter lures I 
feel like there's some fish hanging up here against this bank. The water's really dark though. I mean, it, it it's really cloudy, so I don't know, maybe it would be more clear in the in the sunlight, but really dark water. I can't really see much. But not because the water's cloudy or like milky, it's just it's because it's cloudy and dark out here. Alright, a couple more casts right through here and then we'll move up the bank a little. Okay, right, let's move on to the next spot. Keep trucking. trucker for the army <laughs> I know it's not a good joke but it's a dad joke so that's where I'm at maybe got a little cover for the fish to stick in and hide out in oh had a little guy follow it up to the all the way up to the bank that's promising I mean, it was a little tiny fish though. Kind of been much bigger than my lure. So I'm trying to slow roll this spinner bait as much as I can without just dragging the bottom because it, from what I can see on the shoreline here, there's lots of, lots of debris, lots of limbs, uh, lots of vegetation. So I don't want to be dragging it on the bottom because right, that's because it's also pretty silty so that's just gonna be stirring up a bunch of stuff i don't really want to be doing but i'm trying to slow roll it just so it's not burning because it is shallow I'm trying to keep it just off the bottom The audio in this video is just going to be a nightmare to, to try to deal with. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, felt a little tick. Might have been that little guy coming for it again. Oh man. Doing well, how are you guys? Good. Doing good. Ooh. There's definitely a couple of fish in here. I think they're real little. Because the nibbles, the bites that I've felt, have just been little ticks, like little... Well, that's a bad example because that was a little bit, that was a little stick there. I've had a couple of fish follow me in and then a couple little nibbles, but nobody's committing yet. It must not be dinner time. Oh, that was definitely a fish. You got right as I started into that brush. It was like it jumped out, nipped at it, and then ran away. <laughs> a 
little tiny bluegill. I don't know if you guys saw that on the camera, but right here, right there, a little bluegill just came up and attacked the tail of that grub right as I was about to pull it out of the water. I mean, I'm talking tiny bluegill. Another little knock. I think there's a few little fish in this little corner. Well guys, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, made several casts in a few different spots, walked one whole side basically of this pond. Uh, the wind was just too insane, really, um, to even make effective casts. I, I wasn't really able to cast it more than, I don't know, 20, 30 yards. Um, and it, it was just tough. Um, did get a couple of bites, saw a couple of fish uh, trailing up uh, or chasing the lure um, all the way up to the bank and then had that one little bluegill, real aggressive little bluegill, um, attack that little grub tail right at the bank. Um, that I don't know if the GoPro caught it or not, but um, so that was kind of cool. But uh, I don't know, I think maybe, it, I don't think it was a bust. I think maybe I just bring need to bring the kayak out next time. Hey, if you're still watching the video, you guys rock, um, because it's probably not that exciting to watch a YouTube video of a guy not catch fish. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment on uh, maybe what you would have thrown in these conditions or if you'd have done something different than I did. I know I didn't do a lot. I just kind of threw a spinnerbait around most of the day and threw a jig a few times. But what would you have done different uh, in these conditions? What do you think uh, I should have done? And maybe next time I come out next month at drill, uh, I can try those and, and maybe catch some fish to show you guys out of this pond. So hope you guys have a great one and we'll see you on the next one.